All right, guys, welcome back to the LB Vlogger channel and today's video is quite a different video if you're wondering why I'm actually not in front of a camera or got my face. I'm actually on a Zoom call um, for this new style of content I'm going to try out. I'm going to do like collaborations with all fans over certain maybe like transfer rumours and stuff or new players who signed. And obviously it was announced yesterday and earlier in the week that Red and FC have now signed two ex-Cambridge United players. Sam Smith, who did used to play for Red and has returned. And also we have signed Harvey Nibs as well. So I'm here with a fellow uh, YouTuber, uh, Alfie Addison, also known as Ads, who is a Cambridge United fan. So he knows a lot about um, these two players. So I'm going to ask him a couple of questions. And yeah, so I hope you enjoy this, stuff, this video. So my first should question, be fun, mate. Should be fun. Yeah, should be good. So my first question for you, mate. Um, I hear that Harvey Nibs. So I'm gonna start with Harvey Nibs. I hear that he okay. made a lot of starts for Cambridge last season. Probably one of your best players, I'd say. Mm. And how well do you think yeah. he did in your survival season? Um. Well, yeah, Harvey Nibs. He was he was a crucial player for us last season. Um. He played very well and um, it was crucial in our survival when we stayed up on the last day. Mm -hmm. I think you've got a cracking player on your hands. He gives it his 100% every single game. Give him a bit of confidence, it will literally fly. But um, yeah, he's literally like an engine. He will never stop running and he'll give it his all for the club. Um, honestly, I'm glad that I've lost him, to be fair, but <laughs> glad he's gone to a good club. Yeah. Um, um, so, yeah, hopefully... Um... He can show what he's got. He's already made his first start. Already started on Saturday against Sutton in preseason. Um, I did. And, um, I wasn't there, but um, what I'm hearing is um, I think he did quite well. From what I hear, good. Hopefully, I can see him in action again this weekend against Southampton. Yeah. And um, the next question is another Harvey Nibs question. Gonna uh balance it between the two players. So okay. the second question. Is I hear that Har he Harvey Nibs has scored scored eleven goals in strike in his career, and do you think he will link up well in the strike position with Andy Carroll next season? Um, I think he's a perfect partner for Carroll. I mean, I assume Carroll doesn't run a lot. I assume he's just like the I hold mean, up player and yeah, just shoots it. He runs a little shoots bit. Shoots it. But Nibs, as I just said, he's like an engine. He'll literally do all of Carroll's running. And um, it will mainly be assisting Carroll next season, I think. Yeah. Um, because I know he's not the fastest of players, and he can no. just feed Carroll the ball, and all he has to do is bury it. And I, I know Carroll's a good finisher, so yeah, Nibs will do all the running for him, make it easier for Carroll. Carroll will have a good season, and I think Nibs will come out with more assists than he will get goals, which is all a bit right. different for Nibs. But yeah, I think if if Reading have them playing in like the central position, it will get a few assists for Carroll. So all he's got to do, bury it. Simple as that, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we'll yeah. come on to a six here. Uh, next question. One of the other questions. So the third question. Okay. Um, it's about Sam Smith now. Um, obviously. All oh, right. Yeah. Your, all right. One of your lead starting strikers. Um. Mm -hmm. So do you think he will resettle back into Reading in his second spell? Because he has played for us before. Broke into the first team. Yeah. Had to be. Obviously, he scored his first personal goal with us. So how do you think he'll do? When he resettles back in, I think he will he will resettle very quickly. Obviously, because he's been at the club before, he'll know a few of the back staff, which will give him more confidence. He said that, um, in, um, he said that in one of his in his interview uh, yesterday morning um, when he got announced. Um, so, and he he, he yeah. called um, the training ground impressive, like the facilities, because I don't think it was built when he was exactly. at the time. So. No, it wouldn't have been because it was quite some time ago, I think. Yeah, it was like 2018, um, about, I'd say about. Yeah. But like Smith was probably our main reason we stayed in the division last season. Mm -hmm. I mean, he can have a, he can have some brilliant moments every now and yeah. then, but he, yeah. is a, he is a great player. He will reset with Reading pretty relatively quick, having been there in the past. And his relationship with Nibs, We've set them yeah. both very uh, nicely. As, as most Reading fans have called him Agent Nibs. So, yeah, like, yeah, I yeah, saw that. Got, yeah, it's quite funny. So, yeah. yeah, they've got a very good relationship off the pitch. So on the yeah, pitch, they'll be in like, They seem really close. So hopefully they'll yeah, be they are. next season. Um, right, mm. so the fourth question um, is about Sam Smith as well. Kind of the same as the okay. um, pre 
this question, but obviously he Southsmith did get his first break at Reading in into the first team and uh, kind of first break into football. Um, do you think he will gel with most of the team again? Obviously, because even though he might not know a few, but do you think he'll gel with the team again due to his first big break? Has he got his first big break? Um, already? Of course, yeah, of course he will. You know, it's a club he's familiar with and no doubt loves because he's obviously making his return. Um, mm-hmm. He'll give it his all every game and I think he'll gel with the back staff, as, as I just said, which will make him more confident in training. And then yeah. the, the progress will come from the training pitch onto the actual pitch. So, yeah, I think a lot of confidence and gelling with the team will do him very good. Yeah. Um, mm. so the fifth question is about Harvey Nibs this time. Um, okay. So, obviously, Harvey Nibs... He's a bit of an assist king. Scored quite a, scored a couple of assists for Cambridge and, and in the league last season. Um, do you think Harvey Nibs will set up a, a lot of goals as well as score some goals? Because he has two assists from striker, like nine. He got nine in League One or in his overall career. Um, I think Nibs will definitely set up more than he will score. As I said earlier, like him and La- him and Carroll's link up play will be very nice. Mm-hmm. Um. If your manager does decide to use Nibs in that way, then um, yeah, he'll get more assists. And what's there? Um, obviously, exactly. Yeah. yeah um, it. don't forget Smith as well in that trio because yeah. Nibs and it'd Smith a, do have a good I, history I have a together. Feeling, I have a feeling it'd be quite a nice little trio. The three of them. It will be because Nibs and Smith have a good history together, combining yeah. a lot of goals and assists. So I think yeah. put Carroll in that mix. It's game over for a lot of teams in League One, like the poor sides, yeah. like Cheltenham. Yeah. Stevenage, them lot. Right, question six. Do you, where, what right. is your opinion on both of these players and how do you think they did for you last season? Um, Both players were very good. You know, as I said earlier, crucial in our survival. And I think they'll be very good for Reading as well. I prefer Nibs as he's hardworking, determined. Yeah, he and he never stops he's, running. He's younger than... Um, he's also a really good footballer. Yeah. Exactly, he's, yeah. He's um, younger than Smith as well, isn't he? So... Mm, just by a bit, but you know. Yeah. Um, and then Smith, Smith's a goal scoring machine. You know, yeah. like you got your, you got yourself a class striker. You got your clips. He's a class striker. If you decide to play him, I don't know where you're yeah. going to play him, but we'll have to just see, won't we? Um, he is a goal scoring machine, mate. And finally, um, question seven. This is the last question. And finally, okay. what are your thoughts on how well will Redden do in the league? How do you think Harvey Nibs and Smith will do? And how do you think they will do against Cambridge? Because obviously we play Cambridge quite early Ooh. in the season at the Abbey. So, yeah. Okay. That's a very interesting question. Um, I think both will be very good assets for Reading's rebuild in the okay. uh, upcoming season. I know that you signed some other players as well. However, these two gems that you've got, class. I yeah. think Reading will do decent this season. I don't think you'll get automatics. I, I think yeah. you will... It be in the playoffs, like yeah, around nice fifth to, fifth to seventh place. Yeah. Um, Nibs will offer a lot. Yeah. Even if we don't get promoted the, this straight this year, we've still got like, a year or two to get promoted. Oh, exactly. Yeah. League yeah. One's a tough league. You're going to yeah. see that. Yeah. And obviously, exactly. we're, coming, um, we're coming from the Championship yeah, as well. Exactly. I was, about, I was about to say that. Yeah. So you've also got that leverage on other teams. Mm-hmm. Um, but like Nibs will offer a lot however Smith if you use him correctly he'll probably score 10 to 15 maybe even more goals for you this season and against Cambridge I uh, hope they don't do well but uh, do it'll be nice to like welcome him a, a nice reception the back at the Abbey yeah. do you think they'll get a nice reception um, I think Nibs I think Nibs will um, yeah. but there was a patch last season where the fans and Smith yeah. were in a disagreement Oh, um, right. Smith was booing our fans and stuff like that but that's all the past I think it's all covered now he's kept us up and I think he did his job in the end so I think yeah. they'll get a good reception and the away fans will definitely give him a good reception at Reading's ground next season yeah hopefully so yeah that's definitely the, right that's the end of the questions and the interview so obviously thank you very much for coming on Alfie really going to appreciate it no worries mate for, no worries. for obviously for the channel and obviously for you guys as well obviously if you're like any obviously if any Reading fans want to know some more in-depth chat about these two new signings um, hopefully we've made a good video for you so hopefully you enjoyed this video like and subscribe uh, subscribe to Alfie's channel Um, 
putting some good content. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Cambridge vlogs and different style of content and stuff. Um, so mm. yeah, there will be an announcement video sometime this week, due to obviously because of the Southampton game. We're going to be doing something a little bit different this season, so stay tuned for the announcement video. So yeah, hope you enjoy, and I will see you very soon. Goodbye. Get a bit, guys.